Hi, I'm Tim Warner from CBT Nuggets. Welcome to the CBT Nuggets micro nugget called What is Lamp? Before you get going with the jokes, no, we're not talking about an electrical appliance here. Instead, Lamp is what's called a solution stack that supports the building of a web application server. The core constituents of any dynamic data driven website, also called a web app, are you need certainly web server software that's associated with a host operating system, you need some kind of back end data database for read write data storage and retrieval and then you need some programming framework that can present our web pages dynamically to our users allow for interaction and of course plug into that backend database the combination of technologies and protocols used in that web application framework is what's called a solution stack and it can be a fairly daunting process to get just those tools aggregated before you actually begin creating your apps. Now many companies who want to develop a web app don't have the money to invest in a proprietary solution. For instance a Microsoft solution is going to require SQL Server licensing, Visual Studio licensing, not to mention the Windows Server licensing and I'm probably forgetting some more licenses in there that can add up quite a bit. In the open source world, we have operating systems like the Linux distributions. We have the world-leading web server software, Apache. We have what used to be open source or semi-open source. Now that it's owned by Oracle, its future is a little uncertain, but we still have MySQL as a free, very potent relational database platform. And then, of course, we have the PHP web application development framework. That actually comprises classic LAMP, Linux for the OS, Apache for the web, MySQL for database, and PHP for programming. Simple as that. Now, folks get kind of funny with their terminology. Depending upon which host operating system is in place, you have different acronyms. WAMP is simply the same stack in terms of MySQL, Apache, and PHP, but it's Windows. M is Mac, S is Solaris. There are several versions for different operating system platforms. You'll find the vast majority of them are either LAMP, WAMP, or MAMP. What also is cool about these LAMP stacks is that they're very easy to set up, ideal for development environments. You don't necessarily have to install a full physical or virtual installation of Linux and then manually pop these other solutions inside of it. There are people in the world who have put together through time and effort packages that allow basically a one-click installation, a one-stop shop that gives you all of these in a nice, tight, easy to configure package. We have XAMP, WAMP Server, AMP S, so many of these. Wikipedia has a really excellent table that summarizes the major packages. In this demo, we're going to use a distribution of LAMP called WAMP Server. The business model there, because you need to think about the developer's standpoint, they're putting a lot of time and effort into giving us these one-click install packages. This particular product, WAMP Server, is certainly free and open source, but you'll find find you have to say no a couple times to some of their premium options. Basically, it's training. Anyway, let's pop into our Windows Server, and I'll show you the basics of how this works. Here we are on a Windows Server 2008 box called DC Nugget, and I've downloaded the WAMP Server package. As you can see here in Windows Explorer, it weighs in about 31 megabytes. Very small, compact installation. What I find hilarious, though, about this is that it requires the installer and the WAMP Server requires that you install the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, which flies in the face of open source development. But anyway, that's humor that only a real geek can love. <laughs> I'm going to right click the package, select run as administrator to make sure I'm launching this with elevated credentials, and we'll just step through it. Version numbers are particularly important with application development. So you want to make sure that the stack that you decide to install has the proper versions of PHP, etc. You'll notice that we also get beyond the core technologies, we get some add-ons that help us with administration. For instance, PHP My Admin is a PHP website itself that's used as a front end to configure MySQL database. I'm going to accept the license agreement, specify a folder, very simple in this case, we're not dealing with the program files directories. I'm going to create just a desktop icon here and we'll install it. Well that was easy, wasn't it? So we're going to launch the server and it's really quite fascinating the way these WAMP packages 
work. It's a self-contained service executable, but it launches. It can be started and stopped typically using the system tray or some other GUI option. If you're in Mac or Windows, there may be graphical or command line stuff you need to do in Linux. If we left click the WAMP server system tray icon, let's just take a quick look at what we have. We have shortcuts to the World Wide Web root folder where your default home page is, a quick link to PHP my admin. We can open up the www directory and then we have options for Apache configuration, PHP configuration, MySQL configuration, and then under quick admin we can quickly launch all services or stop all services as the case may be. It's what's called rapid application development. You can actually download LAMP packages that are fully self-contained and can be run off of USB sticks. Imagine being able to take your entire development environment with you on your keychain. Well that's what we've got going on here. Why don't I pop open the local host shortcut and this verifies that the local web server is working. This is the default WAMP server homepage. It summarizes our extensions and gives us some nice shortcuts to PHP info, PHP my admin, etc. I hope that this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.